Hello all and welcome to the reinstated Flat Earth Friday after our foray into a different topic. Today I am hoping to give you with some definitive reasoning some proof that the Earth cannot be flat. Now, I've been thinking about making this video for some time but I wanted to make sure it was almost bulletproof before I did. I've had plenty of comments asking me to make my own video rather than debunk others. So here it is. It is another new thing for me. And of course, I invite others to try and debunk it. So, without further ado, let's kick this off. There is one thing that without doubt happens only on a globe Earth that a flat earther cannot reasonably explain. Antarctic circumnavigation. I believe that this single brave, intrepid journey proves that the Earth cannot be flat. I've got a couple of points to make, so if you're a flat earther and you're currently shouting at me about the Antarctic Treaty or other like comments, then please bear with me, because I believe once I'm done, your silly little movement will be done too. Okay, let's take a look at what is considered the most widely accepted flat earth map. To a flat earther, Antarctica is a giant ice wall that separates us from, well, whatever they want to think. The firmament, other continents where a super species resides, whatever. The point is, the ice wall is fully believed by pretty much all flat earthers. Now, I am positively sure that when people claim to have circumnavigated Antarctica, a flat earther will simply say that they have sailed next to the ice wall until they've got back to where they started. That's a typical response, and if you think about it, it's the only response that they can give. The trouble is, there's a couple of flaws in it, which, as we will see, quickly unravels the flat earth theory. Firstly, every single Antarctic circumnavigation that's ever been done have given various distances of approximately 15,000 miles. However, the Antarctica Cup Ocean Race, which is a fully organised event with no agenda whatsoever, states a 14,000 nautical mile circuit around Antarctica. That's around 16,100 actual miles. It takes about 100 days. The speed they travel can confirm distance and time. That's pretty much concrete. Now, if this is indeed, as the Flat Earthers say, a trip that simply follows the ice wall, then that gives the Earth a circumference of approximately 16,100 miles. If that is the case, then the Flat Earth only has a diameter of approximately 5,130 miles. That means from North Pole to Ice Wall on a Flat Earth is about 2,565 miles. This is circular geometry. Again, you can't mess with this. So, how is it that most Flat Earth sources state a 25,000 mile diameter? How does Africa at 5,000 miles from top to bottom fit into 2,500 mile radius? Why does it take so long to fly between countries if this is indeed the true size of the Earth? Remember, we're only taking our distances from a flat Earther's doubt that Antarctica is circumnavigated, and in actual fact you are following the ice wall all the way around the Earth. Now, before one of you flat Earthers, or flat Earth bright sparks, start to pipe up with something like they're following the ice wall but they're being paid to lie about the distance, let's look at that briefly. If indeed the diameter of the Earth is 25,000 miles, that means the circumference is 78,500 miles. They can't lie about the time it takes, about 100 days. So if this was the case, then their constant 24 hour a day speed would have to be 32 miles per hour. You tell that to any sailor and they'll laugh in your face. Now, if you flat earthers can, uh, flat earthers can do me a favour at one of your silly little conferences, get your heads together and please agree on a size for the flat Earth model of yours. Because there's such a difference in beliefs between all of, it, all of you on the subject, how can anyone take you seriously? Right, the second point I've got is a nail in the coffin. Every single documented circumnavigation of Antarctica have documented course corrections. If indeed you were following the ice wall, these course corrections would show a movement away from the ice. Otherwise you'd sail right into it, yes? Well, unfortunately for the Flat Earth community, the course corrections show a course that moves towards the ice. The only scenario in which this would happen would be if Antarctica was a landmass that could be sailed around, as in an island, as in how it actually is. So, there you have it. A fully reasoned explanation as to how the Earth cannot be flat. Now, of course, I welcome any flat earther to have a go and try and debunk this. Please, please try. Obviously, I'll counter. 
I've gone to a lot of trouble to foresee possible arguments you may fabricate. Thank you all so much for your support. To all my, sub uh, to all my subscribers, I ask a favour, and I don't ask often. Please, please share this video as far and as wide as you can. I'd like as many flat earthers as possible to see it. And of course, if you'd like to see more, then a like and a subscribe would be hugely appreciated. I'd also like to ask you for video response requests. If you've got a video that you'd like me to cast my eye on, send me a tweet at SimonDan, which le uh, leads me nicely onto a push for a Twitter follow. Thank you. I've been Simon Dan, and I will see you all again soon.